All right, here we go with the Lost RVers on RV road trip number 46 into the gold country, down the gold path known as Highway 49. We're gonna see what we can find. We have no destination in mind other than to get to Jamestown by the end of the day. So stay tuned, ride along, and we'll see you in a bit. Oh, honey, I told you prostitution wasn't legal here. Look what happened to you. I'll bail you out, baby. I'll come. I'll get you a saw. I just need one. Yeah. One I told you. Coin. You got to do that in Thank Reno, Nevada. You can't do that in California. Well, here we go. Highway 49 bound. Yeah. Taking off of RV road trip number 46. Again, traveling Robert. Starting out the day with riding in my RV. On this site in 1897, nothing happened. Yeah, beginning of the journey. North side of Highway 80 kind of cuts through the city. It's all been built up. This used to be a two-lane road back in the 70s when we were coming up, but now it's a big metropolis. We're gonna be heading down to a gorge. Is this the right way? I think so. This is old, old town. Not really old town, Auburn, but it's the older part of town of Auburn. Eight degrees straight down for three miles. Beautiful part of gold country right here. You go down to the American River. Cool, comma, Georgetown, Placerville. Six, eighteen, twenty, and twenty-six miles. We'll check out the Try to bring your bike up this grade. Jeez. God bless. Oh, how beautiful that is. Camping resort. We didn't get lost. Uh, Barely. Well, we got lost. Bullshit. Yeah, Baby, you, you know. took me to a street where it said no outlet. I was yelling but that at was, I was yelling at that you. Was, I missed don't that. Yell. I was yelling just, at her. She goes, wait, we didn't wait, get wait, lost. Wait, yeah, we did. We always get lost. Look at there. there she is, the gorge in the American River. You really gotta be robust to hike down there. But people do. Couldn't pass this place by without showing it. American River in the gorge. A view from our front door. Excellent. Now, can you imagine coming up here on horseback or on foot, pushing a cart? <laughs> All right. Now we're crossing down. the American River right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got that uh -huh. river down there? I have a co pilot that's trying her hand out at filming as we drive. Oh, we he just pulled here. right in front. El Dorado County line. Look at this puppy. Beautiful. Now this was a gold mining river back in the day. You can see the sediments. If you're a gold miner and came across this, you would just go bananas. There's gold in them there hills. Look at the people here today. Sunday, and when it's Sunday, it's River Day. Look at that. Look at the humanity on both sides of the river. Look at this goes all the way up. Everybody wants to come down here on this kind of a day. I'm telling you folks, this thing climbing out of that gorge is straight up. Now this is the first road when we first got our first RV. Towing with a uh, 2017 Highlander. This is our first RV road trip, no 
number one. We went to an RV park up here. You'll see it off on the left eventually. Called Pioneer Ponderosa RV. And it's right along the river. It's really a pretty river. The American River. The American River. Oh, look. This is the little town of Cool. Like, cool, man. Cool. Population. 2,250. Well, we got some breaking news here. A 4.0 earthquake along the San Andreas Fault just hit us. Here in California. In California. We may be in for the big one. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. 4.0 on the San Andreas. You gotta look at the terrain. We went from the mountains with the pine trees and fir to rounded Round, rounded hills, brown with a lot of oak. This is where gold was first discovered. Gold was discovered by James W. Marshall on January 24th, 1848, here in Coloma, California. And right here, so we're gonna right see. the gate. We'll ask these people <clears throat> right here. I just wanna pull in for a second. Can you bring a trailer in here? I do have bus parking in the back. Yeah, you can fit right. a trailer in here. Yeah, we just we want to take a couple of pictures. And gotcha. If you guys are only going to be here for a few minutes, probably I'll just five. Pull around and park in the green curb here. Okay. It's okay if you take up the whole thing for a few minutes. Really? Thank you. It's 10 minute parking. Thank you. We're the ranger, and the only thing of interest here is the American River. And we'll try to find out where the historical stuff is a little bit later on. But this is a pretty little park. Allowed us to park there for free for 10 or 15 minutes, she said. You heard it all. You heard it all live on the Lost Art Years. There, let's see what's down here. Very popular river rafting area. There's all the happy rafters. Yeah, pretty, pretty place to come, right, on a Sunday. We stroll along. Oh, look at that river. It's so inviting. It's so inviting for fish even. Doesn't that look like, anytime I see a body of water, I think fish. I did a little video and then I did a snapshot. Man after my own interests. Fishing full sun in the middle of the day. There's a couple of kids right there. Paddle being their 49.95 Walmart specials. You look right over there, there's an island there, and someone just parked their raft right on it. Own little private paradise. People die in these rivers every year. Every year. You don't think it's running too fast, but you get out there and it just sweeps you down and knocks your head against a rock. People die so often up here that they don't have a life jacket, borrow one for free here. Please return it when you're done so someone else can enjoy a safe day on the water. People will be stealing these if it was in the city and selling them on the black market. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a cool little visitor's area. If we can find a place to pull off, we will. Baby, I was just. I can't. Oh shit! I can't open the door. What's there? There's a metal. There's a. I did. That was the, oh, the trailer hitch. Me. Oh. Okay. Coma Post Office. And of course. God bless America. Yeah, I'm not sure what this place is, but we're going to go look at some of these structures. Yeah, this is a pretty little area. Picnic area. Barbecues. There's something way over there, babe. Something kind of old brick structure. Well, we're skipping out and paying the day fee, so we want to do this quick. At one time, this was the, a fruit orchard. And what do we have over there? Huh. This was El Dorado County Jail. First 
Known mention of the jail in Coloma was in 1850. Look at there. Try busting out of this thing. Let's go look inside. I say, let me out of here. Please. Someone. Someone let me out. Get me out of here. I'm innocent, I say. I'm innocent. Wow, look at that. There's nothing in there. Wow. It was probably cool though with these thick walls. Oh honey, I told you it wasn't legal here. Look what happened to you. I'll bail you out, baby. I'll come. I'll get you a saw. I just need one. Yeah. One I told you. You got to do that in Thank Reno, Nevada. You can't do that in California. Oh, this is one of those boxes where you, you know, don't behave right. They throw you in there and they let you just swelter it out for days upon days. Wow. <laughs> Look at this solid iron. This side would heat up. It would be like, wow. it'd be like 140 degrees in there. Yeah. You didn't want to mess with. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, look at that. joke about round back then. You know how hot that would get. Holy cow. That's one way of getting your kids to behave you. <laughs> well, check this out. Oh, there's someone actually working in there. Look at that. Get a demonstration. You are? Yeah. You're in a blacksmith shop, so you're a blacksmith. Yes, sir. Well, guys, a couple weeks ago, I went in here and screwed up on the tractor. It's a total hitch you use for his mower. It's all dead up. Items made here by our blacksmiths must be purchased. These are real blacksmith tools. I know. Hey, we did a real blacksmith job today. You don't get many guys with, you know, wagons coming out. Oh, no wagon wheel work for you? Yeah, we don't get many of those. <laughs> wow, very cool. And you even have a blacksmith, uh, what do they call those, a furnace or? Forge. Forge. Yeah. And a bellow, you got a bellow on it? Well, look, we're, getting, we're using this lower because it's so much more effective. Uh -huh. So, so what you're saying, you aren't, you aren't really a Quaker. Oh, cool. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Out of sight, huh? Loma. I did. There's the water to cool down the horseshoe. This wooden building built by Furley Monroe around 1928 is a representative of the many black ship blacksmith shops in Colma during and after the gold rush period. It's another old house, the Monroe House. Well, this is interesting. Furley M uh, Monroe was a grandson of Peter and Nancy Gooch who were freed from slavery here in California became a state in 1850. The Monroe family became successful fruit farmers. I showed you the farming or the uh, field where they were and the prominent property holders in Coleman. The house was built by Pearlie in eight, 1925 as a rental property. There you go. Organic food. Site of the right store. This was the site of the first store. 1849. Right out there now, it's a beer garden. Look at the stone walls. That must have been the foundation or still preserved. For antiquities. Cool. Adam 
Texas and Company Express. This establishment, Eastern Company Adams, struck it rich in California. They provided banking and mail services. 1853. On February 23, 1855, speculation and interest competition brought about the financial panic of Black Friday, which caused the collapse of the West Coach branch. Wow. Another old building. What's this? Gun shop. All right. Gunsmith, 1849. Well. Go, baby. 1854, Crescent City Hotel. Let's go see what's back there real quick. Deep mine, they filled it in, but that's, that's how you got down there. That's what it looked like at one point in time. Diggins. You can take the shot. Take the shot. God bless America. With the California flag beneath it. Miner's cabin. Check this out. This was styling back then. Slept indoors out from underneath the tent. Had your own chairs and look at the bed over there. Huh? Wow. Well, Interesting. Yes. They used to grind rocks in this little contraption here. Right there. Those boulders tied to the chain, which is which is careen over the rocks and it'd break them down. It was pulled by a mule right in a circle. Wow, check that out. An old mining cart. A guillotine, no. Uh, this was a crushed rock, I believe. Well, we can read about it right here. Right. California Stamp Mill. Look at that. Big gold, baby. Big gold. Hard rock mining. This is just like a little... That's what it looked like. That'd be the mine and the ore cart. Uh, hydraulic mining outlawed. Hello, hello. Oh wow. Well, that's how they brought the ore out of the mines. Say office. This is where you brought all your your flakes and your dust, and you got your little bit of money and went out and bought picks and shovels with it. I don't know what this means, but it looks like it was a. Oh, it's open. Let's go. The door can be open. Oh, this is a Chinese store. Yeah. The people who made the most money were the people who were selling stuff to the people who thought they were going to strike it rich. Chinese signs. Wow, this is all kind of free. Oh, here's a little pamphlet. Let's grab one of these. All right, you guys. We're done here. Maybe across the street. True to real life log cabin. Too much glare. Bunk beds. Some kind of bridge over there going across the river. Oh, the Monument Trail. And this is probably one of the, the big establishments back then. Let's go see what this is. Well, there's the answer. The Coloma Lotus Community Hall Gold Trail Grange built in 1826. Cool. Fire this cannon every time the arrival of a Pony Express mail pouch came along. Come out, come out, wherever you are, you got mail. Loma Bridge, 1915. And here we go across it, digitally. Yeah, that was 
for the days, my friends. Look at everybody. Everybody's learning how to pan gold. It's um, hold on, these red. Oh, it's called Garnet or Ruby? Garnet. Garnet. There you go. The original post office. Well, we'll make this our last stop in Coloma. It must be one of the first churches, right? Sure looks like one. How quaint. Oh, it's a schoolhouse. Built in 1858, and it burnt down in 1990. They rebuilt. Take the shot. Take the shot. God bless America. Wow, look at that. Can you see the kids here? Huh? Back in the 1800s. Look at here. That's how you stayed warm over there. The pot belly stove. No force heating here. The chalkboard. Class, class, class. Lost our veers, parked in a no parking zone on the wrong side of the road. To get the shot just for you, our faithful and loyal and loving YouTube followers. <laughs> All right, let's find the next spot. Uh, Placerville's uh, nickname was Hangtown and it was incorporated in May uh, the 13th and 1854. 1854. That's it. That's all the information. That's all I got for you right now. Oh my god, my historian. Yeah. Now it's rumored, I haven't found val validation for this, but these towns from Auburn to Placerville to Jackson are spaced out about 28 to 32 miles. And that's because a horse can travel 28 to 30 miles a day, and a man walking at a regular pace can cover 28 miles to 30 miles in two days. So these towns sprung up along Highway 49 uh, about every two day walk, all the way up through Grass Valley, Nevada City, all the way into Downeyville. Downeyville is a little bit further along, but in between Downeyville and in Nevada City, you do have North San Juan. So it's about 28 miles to 30 miles. There's a town along Highway 49. And that's what we're doing right now. This is Placerville. Just to walk this downtown, historical downtown Placerville. Pulling in with a travel trailer. I tried that in Carmel. Look what happened. I lost a speaker. Just be careful. Oh, baby, why'd you make me? Holy moly, what am I doing? All right, we're lost. I should have turned back then. I, you're supposed to give okay, us the direction to the safe way. Oh, dang it. Why do I do that? Okay. This is a nice little quaint town, though. Look at this. This is Placerville. This is downtown historic Placerville. See, we did, oh look at this over here. That's the real old downtown. Oh, we gotta come down. Okay, we gotta go find. So instead of finding out where we're okay. supposed to go, my wife is okay. looking at her phone. I turned hand. it off. I turned it off. Okay, wait. All right. Oh my now, God. this place okay. is packed. This is uh, this is Sunday. You know what? We uh, can gold, come back. We're coming back. We're in Wednesday. the Gold Bug Mine and Park. Oh, that's where I wanted to go. Yeah. Remember, I was talking about that. Oh, so gosh. I tell you what, we're just, we're gonna, just gonna try and. Find Kitchen goods. We were looking uh, for a safe one. I know. El Dorado Courthouse. Let's okay, where? All right, that was downtown. I think what we're going to do, though, see. is that since this is Sunday and everyone and their brother's out, I think we'll hit this place on the way back because we're coming back 49. Only way to get back, really. All right, you folks. Oh, if you take a shot, take the shot. God bless America. All right, there it is. Stay right here for now. All right, anyway, we'll be back. Yeah, I think we're gonna bypass Placerville until the weekday, because it is a zoo in there. Okay.
Okay, it's 413. We have reservations at a place in San Andreas at an RV lot with a pool. Angels Camp. Angels Camp. <laughs> Near San Andreas. <laughs> uh, we just got through shopping and eating lunch. And it's about an hour and a half, a little bit more. And we're gonna hang it up for today, go there and just relax and then tomorrow we'll go into Jamestown and start the 49 cruise. So, talk to you guys later and you're with the Lost RVers. Well, this is Highway 49 in between Placerville and Jackson. So let's see, uh, let's see where this takes us. And here's a little glimpse of this part of the Sierra Mountains. So let's take a ride, shall we? So that was a little taste of Highway 49, and we're we're sitting here rocking to the 70s. How cool is that, folks? For boomers, it's pretty doggone good. Rocket, we all we were rocking to the '60s, and then it kind of got real funky, and now we're into the '70s. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you in a bit. Nashville, California. Yeah. Wow, we're only at 863 feet above sea level here. Pretty low, low foothills. So we're going to Nashville now. Duty biker uh, town, fun, it's real fun. It's another, you know, Sierra Foothill gold mining town. 28 miles from Placerville. So there's that, there's that equation again. About every 28 miles, there's a major, well, not major, but there's a pretty big town established back in the 1800s for miners to across the foothills going north to the promised land. All right, well, that, we'll be back tomorrow on this one though. Just a little, uh, you know, a little, a little preview. Denny's. Oh, Denny's. Denny's. Oh, yeah, we gotta make it here. See, we, we, Except for the we, brown grass. We, I, uh, decided to try to go out to Arkansas and raise cattle with my brother. Uh, for about three and a half, four years. And <laughs> that didn't work out so well. We bought a we bought a sharecropper's house, true, a sharecropper's house that was falling in for fifty-five thousand dollars. And we were gonna become fixer-uppers. And we were gonna become fixer-uppers. That didn't work out either. And <laughs> back to California. We came, Calaveras. Calaveras County line. Jumping for that. There's look at that. This little park down there. Um, There's a so if, you hear us, here. if you hear us referencing Arkansas. There's a, oh, the river access. right now and we're very close to where we're going uh, San Andreas California low level gold mining country we'll stop here tomorrow too everything's tomorrow we're, uh, we're, we're kind of going to the furthest point and then coming back through to show
show you the small towns and cities and establishments of the 49er Gold Miner Trail as they headed north seeking fame and riches by mining that rare earth mineral everybody craves. Gold, baby. Gold. Why is that? Well, this is her, this is her family. It's our great great grandmother's sewing machine, a treadle sewing machine. Yeah, my great grandmother and her brother were the first reported set of twins in San Andreas, California. And her house still stands here. My aunt, or my grandmother and grandfather had the first live births in, in uh, North San Juan. Juan. Yeah. We're a very historical couple, believe it or not. But we go back, we're like indigenous Californians, as, as, as much indigenous as you can be without having the last name of Light Claw or Bear Foot, right? We go way, way back. Okay, we've arrived at our destination. What's the place called? <laughs> Angels, Angels Camp, Camp RV, RV and Camping, camping Resort. Resort. We didn't get lost. Uh, barely. Well, we got lost. Bullshit. Yeah, Baby, you, you know. took me to a street where it said no outlet. I was yelling but that at was, I was yelling at that you. Was, I missed don't that. Yell. I was yelling well, just, at her. She goes, wait, we didn't wait, get wait, lost. Wait, yeah, we did. We always get lost. Look at this. All right. Doesn't look too bad, right? think so they're very patriotic yeah I like that oh you can take a shot take a shot God bless America let's have a pool and look at all the trailers back there <laughs> it's real I like your foot oh, electric charges for e-vehicles not a one there we go. We're probably down there somewhere. Site 41. $72. And you always want to catch your rig in nature, especially when the flag of America flies over the top. God bless America. Cool. That looks kind of nice. It's empty. She said it was a ghost town back here. I guess those other trailers were full time or long term. Little sitting area. Yeah, sure would be nice to jump in that pool. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, look at what I just found. If you can take the shot, you got to take the shot, folks. God bless America. You're going to hear a lot of that this weekend, this week. But you're going to be in that spot tomorrow. And so I got a pen and I got a magnet. Oh, here's the magic. Look at this, is it? This one. This fifth wheel. This is what Debbie threw in the fire on my birthday. Look at that. I want to buy that. She doesn't want to get it. Salt and pepper shaker. Oh, okay. Anyway, so we're getting a... This place is really nice. And I guess there's a Lake Mahone. What did he call it? Lake Mahone or uh -huh. Maloney. It's only three miles away. If I wanted to go fishing, he goes, there's great fish in there. So we're See, going... we could have stayed by the lake oh well this is really nice no Look. they don't have they don't have power by the lake they'd have to boondock go it. around here and Let's i see. want air conditioning i know too oh yeah and you're telling her oh that's okay we Look can at little log cabins you can rent here uh-huh we're next we're, oh, she we says go. that people are moving out we're gonna be by ourselves wherever we are we're oh. gonna be right over here by ourselves and this person's moving out okay yeah. we're right next to this cabin so oh. you just pull through here well, are Everything's on your side, right? Yeah. Or is it okay? Alrighty. Beautiful. Watch, watch the. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. You can pull up as far as you need to because you can park over there in that wide spot. Huh. Now, do I have to? I don't have to disconnect, do I? Not unless you want to. Nah. Cool. We'll just pull yeah. in, pull How out. you here for? Just oh, overnight. Well. There we go. All these people across the street, I guess they're participating in a, a 
baseball tournament, and they're pulling out tonight. There's three of them over there. A bunch of kids. And there we go. We're just going to hook up the power. No sewer, no water, no reason. And hunker down for the night. This is the La Sarvia with their 21FB Mesa Wurridge walk around bed. We'll see what's coming next. See ya. Trying to decide what to eat, what to eat, what kind of pasta. What kind of pasta do we want to eat with our salmon for tonight's menu? Not a bad place. People settling in for the night. We have a whole row to ourselves, which is always great. Yeah, I like it. And my name is Mike. And you know what they say? Have Mikey like taste it. He hates everything. And the Mesa Ridge 21 FB and the Ford F-150 4x4 pick-me-up truck at your service. Lost our viewers cooking show. And tonight's oh and tonight's cook will be my lovely wife with a sauteed salmon in butter and garlic. Garlic and roasted onion. mashed potatoes and sauteed asparagus. So hang tight and let us get set up. We'll be with you in a moment. All right, this is the Lost RVers cooking show. Tonight we're going to feature Sierra Salmon and Angel's Camp asparagus with garlic roasted mashed potatoes so let's see how this ends up and here we go Camp asparagus, roasted garlic, and butter. The Lost RVer cooking show number one on this trip. Wait till you see. Them. Day two, we're pulling out of our RV campgrounds. July tenth, two thousand twenty-three. Here we go. We're gonna head over instead of going to James. That we're gonna go over to New Malone's Reservoir just to look at it. It's like three minutes away. Is it New Melones? Because New, New Melones means melons. Because we got some believe? cojones. Shh. Well, you have gas. It's going to be right here. At the le this, get in this left lane here. Glory Hole Recreation Area. Yeehaw! After we go to Glory Hole Recreation Area, we're going to go to the... Proceed two Is miles it? on the current road. We're going to go to Moaning Caverns. <laughs> oh, what do these miners have in their brains when they name these places? 